Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's March 7th, 2022. Here are your latest church militant headlines. An Argentine bishop and ally of Pope Francis has been convicted of sex abuse. On Friday, a criminal court found Bishop Gustavo Zanqueta guilty of abusing seminarians and sentenced him to four and a half years in prison. It's considered a major blow to the credibility of the Pope who defended Zanqueta against initial allegations of porn found on his phone and later granted him a high-ranking role in the Vatican. The head of the German bishops is calling for radical changes to Catholic teaching. In an interview published Friday, Bishop Georg Betzing of Limburg agreed with a journalist who told him no one adheres to church teaching on sexuality. Quote, that's true, and we have to somewhat change the catechism on this matter. Sexuality is a gift from God and not a sin. When asked if same-sex relationships are permissible, he said, yes, it's okay if it's done in fidelity and responsibility. Meanwhile, in Canada, the Catholic School Board is caving to the LGBT lobby. Last week, the Hamilton-Wentworth Catholic District School Board in Ontario gave in to pressure from the homosexual crowd, voting to fly a pride flag for the month of June. Last year, the nearby Halton School District stood against flying the pride flag after affirming that celebrating homosexual acts violates Catholic teachings. A bill banning abortions after 15 weeks is about to become Florida law. On Thursday, House Bill 5 passed in the state Senate 23 to 15 and now goes to the desk of Catholic Governor Ron DeSantis, who's expected to sign it into law. The measure would also require abortion mills to report human trafficking. As previous investigations have shown, abortion centers have a history of hiding sex abuse of minors seeking abortions. A World War II martyr will become a saint. On Friday, the pontiff announced Dutch father Titus Brandsma, along with two 19th century religious women, Carolina Santo Canale and Marie Riviere, will be canonized on May 15th. After standing against Nazi propaganda in 1942, Brandsma was transferred to Dachau in southern Germany, where he was murdered by lethal injection. Mother Teresa's religious ministry just won big against India's Hindu government. Last week, a highly publicized government probe against the missionaries of charity was dropped after the prosecution, prosecution admitted there was no basis to proceed against them. The suit followed an allegation that the nuns had attempted to convert a girl in their shelter home to Christianity and for allegedly hurting Hindu religious sentiments. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about Russia, 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 and the globalist narrative. God bless you.